Humans! You are some freaking weirdos! First of all, 89% of you aren't even subscribed! Second, you shamble around the, the like button, never pressing it. But fear not, for I, the great Sam, shall teach you how to subscribe and comment and like the videos. And then, you can be set on the right path to becoming a member of the Dragon Tear family. Hey, what's up, Buttercups? I am back, and I'm gonna do another how to install Undertale bits and pieces mod video because uh yeah I don't think I was clear enough in my last one so I just wanted to redo it to make one that's a little more understandable. So uh step one let's just download the mod that's the easiest thing right? Of course it's on game jolt just called Undertale bits and pieces. Okay we have it installed. Also you'll want to check out on the mods page go down to the description here show more and go all the way to the bottom here they have installation and troubleshooting that will help you a ton more than i probably can <laughs> but yeah just click on spam to and that will take you to the installation guide first things first we need to get to our undertale folder if you have the steam version of undertale go to your steam library right click on undertale you want to go to manage and browse local files and that should open up a file of yeah file explorer and you're in your undertale folder now, I don't like to directly mod the original copy of my game. I like to keep it just as it is in my Steam library. So instead, I come out here, just go out to the common where it shows all your Steam games, and you're going to want to copy it. Now, if, if you don't have the Steam version, you'll want to launch your game and then open Task Manager and right click where it shows Undertale running in Task Manager and go to Open Local Files. And that will do the same thing where it'll just take you into the Undertale folder. You'll want to, uh, you'll want to then close Undertale before you mess with anything in there. So we have copied our Undertale folder. I'm just gonna paste it to my desktop because you can paste it anywhere. I just, uh, I prefer to have a copy. And then we're also gonna rename it. You can leave it named just Undertale if you want. It will load your normal Undertale save file, but just with the bits and pieces mod. So if that's what you want, you can do that. If you want it to create its own save file, you have to give it a, a new name because the save file will be named after the folder. So I already have a bits and pieces folder. So I'm actually just going to call this BNP2 because I don't want it to pull up my other bits and pieces save file. Now we're going to go inside. Now we're going to go inside. There we go. Okay. All right. You're going to want to find, here it is, steam underscore api dot dill and delete that. Now, uh, downloads. There it is. Now let us grab our downloads folder and you will need something that can open up zip files to open this up, uh, get WinRAW or whatever, uh, application you prefer to use if you don't already have anything. You want to open up the zip. Uh, if you can't just open it like this, you can and if you don't have a program that does that you can move it in there right click on it and hit extract and that will move all these in there and then delete the zip when you're done i'm doing it this way because this is what i like to do we're gonna move all this in here you can read the readmes if you want it's kind of just more of what i'm going over and replace all the stuff that has duplicates and then we can close all this in the downloads folder okay now over to here in our new undertale bits and pieces folder we want to go to the redone osts you don't have to use these, but it's gonna, you're not gonna have the full bits and pieces experience if you don't. Uh, the alternative and bonus tracks I don't use. I usually just, these ones right here, the basic ones, drag those into the main folder. Then out, and then just save room on your computer. You can delete that. Okay, now we want to go into the Delta Patcher, this folder right here. And we want to launch this file or launch this program, Delta Patcher. And then for original file, open, and we're back in the Delta Patcher folder. We want to backtrack out to the main folder, and we want this right here, data.win. Open. And then for the X Delta Patcher, this is where it gets tricky. If you're not using the Steam version and, you, and you're on Windows, you're going to want to use this patcher right here, the uh, yeah, Windows Collector's Edition to Steam one, and then come back in here, do this again, and then add this right here, the BNP Delta, whatever version, X Delta. If you have a Mac one, then you're gonna wanna do this one right here. If you're playing on Mac, then you wanna do this. I think that might be for Linux too, but you'll have to check the installation instructions to be sure. 
Now, since I just have the regular Steam one, I'm doing this. And then this one right here, the previous version one, when the next update for the mod comes out, you're going to want to do this again where you just move all the files into this already copied folder and you're going to want to do this patch or this one instead of just the default one. You'll want to do this one to update. But we're doing it from scratch, so we want this one. And then we hit apply. And okay. All right. We can go back out to the main folder and we're going to scroll all the way down to the hearts. And this is, you do not want to use the regular Undertale launcher. That's going to mess you up. You want this one, the one that says BNP. We're going to right click it and we're going to create a shortcut. That way the original is still in here. And I'm actually, because I already have one for my original uh, bits and pieces modded Undertale, I'm going to rename it to two so I know it goes to this folder and it doesn't replace my other one out there. And just drag it onto the desktop we can close this and we can launch a new game. This mod connects to the internet during some... Yes, that's fine. And then of course, uh, just like regular Undertale, hit F4 to make it full screen. Uh, something in bits and pieces, I'm not sure what that's saying. Does it prefer to not be full screen? It won't let me anyway. Okay, so just hit enter. And then here you can go into settings, set it up how you like. Uh, of course, you know, F4 full screen. Um, I don't know if there's anything where you can change aspect ratio or anything. You can add borders. Like, after you've already beaten the game, on my other one I have more. You have, like, for the ruins and Snowden and other locations. Uh, controls. I also want to try a game out. I don't know what this new battle menu is, but I want to try that. But that'll be another time. We're not going to do that right now. Mirror mode just does this, and I don't, I don't know why. Do people play in the mirror? <laughs> Anyway, uh, that's all for this video. Um, you know, if you're not subscribed, you should because my next video, I'm going to be showing how to install Deltarune Plus, which is another mod by the same creator, but for Deltarune. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. See you later.